This week we've been looking at the book of Proverbs and we've been learning from the book of Proverbs and uh, we have been focused on Proverbs chapter 14 to learn valuable lessons to apply to our lives. So we're in Proverbs chapter 14 and verse number 11. The house of the wicked will be overthrown, but the tent of the upright will flourish. Now, if you've noticed, uh, a lot of the uh, sayings in the book of Proverbs are based on comparing and contrasting. And usually it will take two opposites and show us their attitudes and then the outcome of their lives. So in this particular instance, we're looking at the wicked and the upright. And the proverb says that both the wicked and the upright are building. The wicked builds a house and the upright builds a tent. And I want you to look at the difference between a house and a tent. A house is more stable than a tent. A house will withstand a storm easier than a tent. A house is more permanent and a tent is more temporary. A house is more valuable and expensive than a tent. So consider the apparent differences between a house and the tent. And you may be tempted then to think that the wicked is doing better than the upright because the wicked is the one who is building the house and the righteous and the upright is building a tent. So on the face of it, when you look at it, it would appear as if the wicked has a better system than the upright because he has the house and the upright has the tent. But the Proverbs tells us that the house of the wicked is overthrown. So the wicked is building something and everybody is amazed by it. It looks beautiful, it looks stable, it looks strong, it looks expensive, it looks far better than the upright man is building. And then a storm comes and whom it's gone. The house of the wicked is gone. Why? Because what the wicked builds that looks fanciful and great and durable is built on lies, on cheating, on deception, on godlessness, and on the external it looks to have succeeded until a storm moves it away. So don't be too impressed by the house of the wicked. It may seem very successful, but it will be overthrown. That's what the proverb is telling us. And then it says, the tent of the righteous flourishes. So what the righteous is building may not seem to be great. It doesn't seem fanciful. It doesn't seem stable. But it withstands the storm. And it flourishes. And it gets better. And it increases. And everything works out well for it. So why does the tent of the righteous flourish? Because God is in it. It's not so much about what you are building. It's what God is building with you and through you. And if the Lord is building your tent, people may not see it as strong and beautiful, but there is strength in it because the Lord's hand is upon it. And it's better to build something with God's hand and God's favor upon it than something that is so far away from God and it's all our effort and nothing else. Because in the end, whatever God blesses is blessed. If God blesses your tent, is blessed. If what you have doesn't seem like much, but God blesses it, is blessed. And many times we try to build everything ourselves, but it's always important to build God's way, have God's blessing upon it. A little with God is much more than a thousand without God. Make sure God is in your tent, and then it will flourish, and then it will do well. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, what you bless is blessed. Help me to build things that attract your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.